The area we serve is a 50 square mile area located in Clark County, Virginia. It's a very rural area. We're a volunteer system. We are at home response. We don't have staffing in the station. We operate with about 20 operational members. The impetus behind this project is that we have long distances for travel for these patients. It's so rural and we're so spread out. People are delayed in calling 911 when they're experiencing chest pain. And the longer time it takes, the more heart muscles damage before we get the vessel open. If we can evaluate them in a more complete way when the ambulance is called, we have the ability to make some very important decisions. And so there was a big push to actually put computers into all the EMS vehicles to give them electronic devices to transfer the information from their life packs or whatever device they had for a defibrillator and share that data. Our architecture for Valley Health began with a laptop implementation using Intel servers at the data center here on campus. We've since gone to an architecture that includes a mobile cloud using servers located on the vehicles. We're not spending the time getting somebody on the radio or getting somebody on the phone to give a report. We're able to transmit the 12 lead EKG, confirm there's a heart attack, get the cath lab in motion, and provide better care for the patient. It's allowed us to provide better analysis of clinical situations at a great distance. We run from the core to the cloud, and Intel architecture is consistent. We started in 2009, and our average time getting the patient into the cath lab and getting their lesion open was 72 minutes. This year in 2013, with the implemented technology, we are at 52 minutes, which is a very big deal because time is muscle for the patient. And the faster we get the vessel open, the better the outcome for the patient. We're excited about what we've done so far, but we're even more excited about what the future looks like. Users today in public safety, first responders are asking for a variety of very mobile, very portable devices. Devices that are easy to use, easy to interface with, has either voice activation or touch. When I have a hybrid device, a two-in-one device, where I've got a keyboard, but then I can actually detach it easily and take the tablet equivalent to a bedside, show a patient their x-rays, show a patient what I'm doing for them, and then take notes at the bedside in a way that's very unintrusive. That's a real advantage. Blue Ridge is very proud that we're on the cutting edge of the technology and we're one of the first units to put the system in. These volunteer fire and rescue squads do not have large budgets. They're often funded by bingo drives and by passing the boot. VPRO AMT, Active Management Technology from Intel, drives the total cost of ownership and operations of our enterprise down to the lowest possible cost. When I walk into the hospital and a doctor or a nurse or an EMT tells me a story about what just happened and how they were instrumental in saving that patient's life using our tools, it makes me very proud.